In this video, I am going to be solving a couple of questions of uh, the topic angle properties of circles and uh, mostly the questions that I will be solving are going to be from recent years uh, with the exception of this one. This is from October, November 2014, so not very recent. This was actually requested by a student. So let's get straight to it. So it says here in the diagram A, B, C and D lie on the circle center O, C, O is parallel to D, A. So make sure that as you're reading the question, you also have an eye on the diagram and uh, whatever the question is trying to emphasize on. So have a good look at it before you uh, actually start solving the question. The tangents. So the keywords right away, there are two, two keywords. The one is parallel and the other is tangent to the circle at A and C meet at D. All right. AOC is one angle that's given to you and which is 136 and you have to find X. Okay, so here we go. So if I just look at this part of the diagram, I can see, oops, sorry. I can see that one angle is at the center, which is 136 and the other angle is at the circumference, which is X. What is the property connecting the two? By the way, if you want to watch like, uh, if, if you if you want to recap the properties, I will leave a link in the description so you can go check it out. I have a detailed, uh, uh, quite a few videos on just the properties. So yeah, coming back to it. So angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference or angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center. So we have the angle that's at the center, that's 136, so X, will be half of 136, so divide by two. So this is paper one, so that means you're not allowed to use a calculator, but this, you don't really need a calculator for this. Two ones are two, two six are 12, one carry, 68 degrees. So there you go, 68 degrees. Just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna check my answer, 136 divided by two, so 68 it is. And then you have Y. Okay, let's see how we can work out Y. So now that I've worked out the value of X, I'd prefer to write it over here, because I might uh, need it later on. Okay, so let's see how we can work out the value of y. Okay, so if I, now we know that this, these two lines are parallel. Okay, let me just highlight them with a different color and let me just erase what I've already highlighted. Yeah, so these two lines are parallel. Okay, and when you have a pair of parallel lines, okay, you always have alternating angles forming. Okay. So let me emphasize on it again using a different color. So over here, you can see that if I extend the line CO, so what we get is a pair of alternating angles. So that means this angle that you're looking at will also be Y degrees, which basically means that if I want the value of Y, this, the sum of these two angles, 136 and Y is gonna be 180. And I can use that, use this property to figure out the value of Y. Okay, so Y, plus 136 equals 180. So Y is equals to 136, so 180 minus 136, which is 44 degrees, okay? And what is the property that I've used here? The property that I've used here is alternating angle. So I'll just write it over here. So you guys remember what I've done. Okay, uh, then you have to find the value of Z, okay? So in order to find the value of Z, I am going to look at A, B, C, D, okay? And what exactly is A, B, C, D? It's a quadrilateral. The next question you should ask yourself, is it just an ordinary quadrilateral or is it a special quadrilateral? And the answer to that is that it's a special quadrilateral. It's a cyclic quadrilateral to be precise. The reason why it's a cyclic quadrilateral is because all four sides are touching the circumference. So that means opposite angles, which are 68 and Z, are gonna be supplementary. Okay, so that means X, in fact, now that I have the value of X, so 68 plus Z is equals to 180 degrees. So that means Z is equals to 180 minus 68, which should be 112 degrees. And again, just to be on the safe side, let me check my answer. So it is 112 degrees, there you go. Okay, uh, next thing you have to do is you have to find the value of T, okay. Now, finding the value of T, let me just clear everything that I've done so far. Okay, so basically you have a radius here, OC, and this is a tangent line. So that means this angle is gonna be 90. And it's not just this angle that's gonna be 90, it's this angle which will also be 90, again, for the same reason, radius and tangent. And we don't know what T is. So what this means is that uh, this quadrilateral, A, O, C, T, sum of four angles, sum of interior angles in a quadrilateral, regardless of whatever kind of quadrilateral it is, it's always 360. So that means here's what I'm looking at. T plus the two 90 degree angles, plus the 136, 
is equals to 360. So T is equals to 90 plus 90 is 180. 360 minus 180 is also 180. So 180 minus 136 is basically what you're looking at. So 180 minus 136 is equal to 44 degrees again. So yeah, there you go. Again, just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna check my answer. 360 minus 180 minus 136. So 44 degrees it is. And there you go. Now we have solved um, all the four angles and this brings me to the end of the question. Okay. Now we move on to another question, which is fairly recent from October, November, 2020, paper two, variant one. Okay. And I have noticed these kind of questions lately where the question will just give you, this is a paper two question I should mention, yeah. Where the question will just give you one question and it's gonna be of two, three marks. And then, you know, you're gonna use a couple of properties to get the final answer. So it says here, A, B, C, and D are points on the circle center O, B, A, D is 68 degrees and C, B, O is equals to 52 degrees. And right away, it's asking you to find out C, D, O, okay. So since it's a three mark question, obviously you can't just give the final answer and expect to get all three marks. You need to show a, so, some go, good amount of working also. So first thing I wanna do is I wanna work out what this angle is going to be. Because ABCD is a quadrilateral, sum of uh, opposite angles is gonna be 180 or opposite angles are gonna be supplementary. So that means angle BCD plus 68 is equals to 180. Why? Because these are opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral. Apologize for my handwriting, but you get the point. So BCD is equals to 180 minus 68. So I'm looking at 112 degrees. So I know that this angle is 112. So I'll write it over here. And there's another angle, which I can figure out immediately. And that's this angle. This is gonna be double off uh, the angle that's at the center. So angle BOD is equals to, so sorry, the angle that's at the circumference, I think I said center. So angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference, so two times 68 is what you're looking at. 68 times two is 136. Very similar values as before, yeah, surprising. Anyway, so we are at BOD, which is 136 degrees, and I think we're almost there, CDO, yeah, so we're almost there. So this is the angle that you wanna find out now. I just call it X and I should mention over here, the property that I've used is angle at the center, so on and so forth. Okay, you get the point, right? Okay, then uh, we have this angle. Let me write it over here, 136. And sum of the four angles is gonna be 360 because it's a quadrilateral. Not, a, not because it's a cyclic quadrilateral, only because it's a quadrilateral. So X plus 52 plus 136 plus 112 equals to 360. So X is gonna be equal to 360 minus 52 minus 136 minus 112. And you're looking at 60 degrees. Okay, so just to be on the safe side, I'd like to do it again. So 52 plus 112 plus 136, 360 minus answer and 60 it is. There you go. Now we have our final answer, which is 60 degrees. And that brings me to the end of this question. Okay, now we have another question, which is again uh, from October, November 2020, paper one, variant one. Okay, so the reason why I'm solving variant one is because I already have uh, videos of yearly past papers on my channel. So that's the reason why I'm not uh, picking up questions from variant two. Anyway, so it says here in the diagram, AC is a diameter of the circle center O. So again, I'd, un I'd like to underline the word diameter. And then it says the tangents from T touch the circle at B and C. Okay, sounds good. Um, B, C, T is equal to 62 degrees, find X. Okay, so X is the angle that's in between, not the entire angle, but yeah, it's part of the angle that's in between the radius and the tangent. And we should know from prior knowledge that angle formed between radius and a tangent to the circle is always 90. That means x plus 62 is going to be equal to 90 degrees, which means x is equal to 90 minus 62, which is 28 degrees. So there you go. Pretty easy. Then it says find y. All right. So where exactly is y? So there it is. Again, this also, also shouldn't be that difficult. So let's switch to another color. Radius and tangent means that we're looking at 90 degrees. Here's another 90 degrees. But wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not going to be so easy. So we don't have what this angle is, but you can always work it out. So it shouldn't be that big of a problem. So we worked out what X is. And now the triangle that I'm highlighting in blue, 
I want you to tell me what kind of a triangle is this. So if you're thinking, hopefully, uh, you're probably thinking that this is an isosceles triangle. The answer is yes, it is an isosceles triangle because OB and OC, they're both radii of the same circle, which means that if this angle is 28 degrees, that means this angle will also be 28 degrees. So what that means is that I can work out what angle BOC is, and I can do that by simply, so I'll do it, I'll do the working over here, that BOC is equals to 180 minus 28 minus 28. And why is that? Because sum of interior angles in a triangle is, 20, is 180 degrees and hence 180 minus 56. So 180 minus 56 is gonna be equal to 124 degrees. So there you go, we have angle BOC, which is 124 degrees. Okay, so now we're almost there. So now I am just focusing on the shape that I'm highlighting in green. I can do better than that, yeah. There you go, so this is the quadrilateral that I'm focusing on. And I know that two angles are 90 degrees, okay? As mentioned previously, one angle we just figured out to be 124. And again, just to be on the safe side, I wanna double check, yep, so that's what it is. So 124, and then let's find out why. So we're almost there. 124 plus 90 plus 90 plus y is equals to 360 degrees. So y is equals to 360 minus 90 and 90 make 180, so minus 180, minus 124. So we're looking at y is equals to 180 minus 124, which is gonna be 56 again. So there you go, 56 degrees it is. And that brings me to the end of this question and towards the next question, which is from May, June 2001, paper two way into, again, the paper that got canceled. No, wait, uh, this paper didn't get canceled. Anyway. So, um, actually it did, uh, but then they gave the mini series as, the result, as a result. But anyway, uh, that's irrelevant right now. A, B, C, or A, B, and C are points on the circumference of a circle center O. O, B, D is a straight line, so I'm looking at O, B, D right now. And angle A, B, D is 130 degrees. Okay, that's great. Find angle A, C, B, giving a reason for each step of your working. So again, this is a three mark question and you gotta make sure that you give reasons Toward, as you go along, okay. So first things first, this right here is a straight line, okay, as it says in the question that OBD is a straight line, that means I can work out what this angle will be. So I'm looking at angle A, B, O is gonna be equal to 180 minus 130, which is equal to 50 degrees. And I'll write it over here, sum of angles in a straight, Line. And I just realized I should have used the space provided instead of writing it over here. So, no problem, there you go. So this angle is 50 degrees, okay, there you go. That means this angle right here will also be 50 degrees, okay, why? Because it's an isosceles triangle. So it's best that I write this down, that OA is equals to OB, because they're both radii, okay? And uh, now like, we can find out what angle AOB is. So let's do that over here. Angle AOB is equals to 180 minus 50, minus 50. So that means angle AOB is equal to 180 minus 100. So that's 80 degrees and we're almost there. So this angle is 80 degrees. The angle that we want is ACB if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so ACB, okay. So ACB is gonna be half of 80. So that means that's gonna be 40 degrees. And what's the reason for that? The reason for that is pretty simple. It's because the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. In this case, angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center. Okay, so I'll write that over here angle at the center is half the angle at the, oh no wait, angle at the circumference is half the angle at the center, there you go. So make sure you just don't leave a stone in turn, okay? So whatever property that you've used, make sure to write it down 
just so that you know you can walk away confidently that yes i have given the examiner everything that i had to to satisfy him or her as to how you got the final answer so yeah that brings me to the end of this question and also to the end of this video if you have any more questions that you want me to solve feel free to send them in you can reach out to me on instagram and or even leave a comment in the comment section whatever so yeah uh, i'll see you guys in the next video until then take care bye bye